sorry about the really shitty light, but it is getting dark and I want to make a video tonight, so I'm just going to have to put up with the light, I'm afraid. So um, I posted a picture of kind of my weight loss progress on Instagram and I got a couple of questions about it and thought I would answer them. So first question, it seems to become some confusion in the movement that the importance of exercise is because you need to create a calorie deficit to lose weight. Is that what you have done or do you still eat 2,500 calories after exercise? So yeah, there is a lot of confusion about calories. Um, but that is not why there's a um, importance of exercise. The importance of exercise is any lifestyle. You need to be active on any lifestyle to be healthy. It's just, you just have to be. You can't be sedentary and expect to be healthy because you need to be able to pump kind of the blood, you need to work your heart, you need to work your body for it to be healthy. You can't just expect us to sit on your ass and not be fit and not be healthy because that is just paramount. So that's number one, you need to exercise. But this calorie deficit thing, like I, when I first started, I was so kind of into this calorie deficit thing thinking that that, that was the only way to lose weight because that's the only way that I had lost weight before was by calorie um, restriction and creating this deficit. But look where that got me. <laughs> I blew out so much because I had been knobbing around with calories and restriction and concentrating on weight loss. And I feel like since I have stopped worrying about calories so much, that is when I've seen the most results. Does that make sense? It sounds bizarre. Um, but now I'm not kind of focused on calories as in trying to restrict them. That is, I know everyone says this and it's not what this, probably, this girl is probably wanting. She's probably wanting to say to her, this is how many calories you should eat. This is how many you need to lose weight. And it's just not that simple. Um, but for me... I, yeah, like I was saying, by not, God, I can't even get my words out, <laughs> by um, not really worrying about calories anymore, that is when my weight has started to come down because I'm just concentrating on getting fitter and being out on my bike rather than thinking, oh, I need this many calories or, you know, I mean, the one thing I do do is I will, if I am on the bike, I will make sure that I eat, even if I don't feel particularly hungry, I will make sure that I'm eating as I'm out on the bike because I know my body is going to need it and it's going to kind of um, run out otherwise and just make me feel like shit. So I do make sure that I eat dates and stuff when I'm on the bike. But depending on, I mean, if you're exercising, you are going to be hungrier. So there's no way of like creating this deficit. I mean, there is, but you're just going to be hungry and you're going to be grumpy. And that is basically calorie restriction. But basically, what I think what she's... Sorry, it's gone dark. So I think basically what she's asking me is, do I eat the same on the days that I exercise? Is that, is that what you're asking? If that is what you're asking, then I would say, yeah. Like, it depends. If I'm hungry because I've exercised, I'll just eat more. It's not like a thing that I'm trying to create the deficit. I'm not exercising to create the deficit. For once, for the first time ever in my life, I'm not exercising for that reason. I'm exercising because I want to get really, really fit. Like, I'm, like, I can't wait until... I can like run comfortably again and not that that's going to be my main thing but I did genuinely kind of like when running was good there were times that I did like it and I really want to like get into that again um eventually like in years and a few years or whatever when I'm much lighter and I'm not going to fuck up my knees um god I just got completely off track I forgot what I was saying so yeah um don't worry so much about whether it's a deficit, whether it's, don't worry so much about calories. At the start, worry about calories to make sure that you are eating enough because plant foods are lower calories, so you need to eat more of them to actually feel full and nourished and satisfied. Like That's the main thing, right? You've got to eat until you are like satiated, like properly satiated. Like I eat and then like the thought of what I've eaten, you're just like, oh, can't even think about it. like I, I was gonna make my dinner for tomorrow um and I was like oh, I can't even think about food like I can't I'm just full but I'm not like full like I'm gonna vomit I'm full like 
I actually worked it out today how many calories I've had. I was thinking about it earlier because I was going to do this question. I was like, I just wanted to see. Like now I'm so used to because I've been doing this for like three years now. So I'm kind of used to how many calories like I need to feel kind of like good. Like good and enough to be able to exercise. And today it was, it was I think it was about 2,600. Like total, that's what for me is good to be honest I could have probably eaten more earlier in the day but I was out on the bike so I didn't I should have probably taken more with me um but I, I feel like my weight loss is not due to calorie deficit I feel like my weight loss is due to me just being consistent and just not worrying about it anymore I just feel like this is the first time I don't want you to worry about calories so much eat until you are and that you don't feel like you're restricting so I still god this is really dark now sorry it's got really dark outside um yeah regardless of exercise that I've done I will kind of make sure that I try and eat more if I've exercised I will eat more I don't want to create the deficit if I have like say exercise more I will make sure that I am eating more um so it's kind of the opposite and that's how I've lost weight so it's kind of counterintuitive to try and create this deficit because like I say that's that's why I got in the state that I was in that I'd put so much weight on so I would say to you if you're exercising more and you feel hungrier eat like eat eat because your body is using all that fuel up you need to kind of replenish that so yeah I don't think it is the deficit you need to make sure that you're eating enough, especially on the days that you're exercising or the days before that you want to exercise because you're not going to have the energy to exercise if you've not eaten enough and you're trying to create this calorie deficit. It just, it's just not for me. That's not worked. That's not worked for me to, to lose weight, not long term. Whereas for me now, I am eating enough and eating more and yeah. So I feel like because I'm not eating as much today, it will catch up with you. If you're trying to create calorie deficits, they will catch up with you. Like today, like I say, I've eaten maybe like 2,600, but I've been on the bike a few hours, so I don't think that's enough. So tomorrow I'm probably going to be extra hungry, and I don't say to myself, oh my God, I need to I need to not eat. If I'm hungry, I will eat. And so that's a really long waffling video. So I do hope that has helped. And if you've got any more like questions about it, then ask me like on this or on Instagram, and I will make videos and try and help. But um, yeah, don't create calorie deficits. Um, just try and make sure that you are eating enough to sustain any exercise that you are doing. Yeah. Okay, see you next video. Bye.